What is up guys, DZ here. Welcome to Season 5 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now the only change that I was able to find was that they added new ranks to the ranked mode. This is a nice change, but I do wish there were a few more things. We will have a ban list in about a week or so that was supposed to go up around May 9th, but for now we only have these new ranks. These are the diamond ranks. So we have diamond 5 through 1, and this is 600 extra gems. I do think this is a good change, by the way, even though it's the only change change and I wish there was more. I think that we did need new ranks because Platinum was a little bit difficult for a lot of players. You would have like really hardcore meta players in Platinum but also some players that just barely got out of gold. So I think by expanding the ranks into Diamond as well, hopefully Platinum should be a good middle ground between the more casual gold and the more competitive Diamond. In today's video I'm going to show you some of my first games in the new season. I decided to try out Exodia for some reason. Notably I think it's one of the worst times to play Exodia right now because you don't want to play Exodia at the start of a new season because a lot of the Platinum players are trying to grind through gold using meta decks and because of this I lost every single time I went second but I won almost every single time that I went first so I still think that this is one of the most consistent Exodia decks in the game. It's not going to be great going second against the meta decks but that's Exodia for you what can you expect. Without further ado though here is the deck list. I only made like one or two changes compared to my last Exodia video, I really do think that this is the best way to play this deck. So we have one copy of each of the Exodia pieces, of course, three copies of Royal Magical Library, one copy of the Pendulum Upstart Goblin, three copies of Upstart Goblin, one Terraforming, one Card of Demise. No, you cannot cut this card, it is so powerful. Two copies of Magical Stone Excavation. I did cut back on this by one because I was breaking a little bit too much. One copy of Dark Factory of Mass Production, three copies of Magical Mallet, one copy of Double Summon, three copies of Golden Bamboo Sword, 3 Into the Void, 1 Duality, 1 Foolish Braille of Goods, 1 copy of Gold Moon Coin, 3 copies of Map, 1 copy of Broken Bamboo Sword, 3 copies of Cursed Bamboo Sword, and finally 3 copies of Chicken Game. I'm pretty sure that I had one of the first Exodia activations of Season 5, considering I recorded this gameplay last night when the season was brand new. Anyway, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in today's video. The grinding to diamond starts now with... Exodia. Can I just win one coin toss? I did it! Oh my gosh, I won a coin toss. This is when we start ranking up, right here. That's pretty good. Loses really hard to Ash. But, he doesn't have that. <gasps> he doesn't have it! He actually doesn't have it. That's incredible. Um, yeah, I think we shuffle back two, and then we potentially have another mallet. Because the library's gonna start getting us pluses. I think this is fine. I could have shuffled back three. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. The first Exodia of Season 5. I think we're about to see that right here. Draw one. Okay, that's pretty bad, but we do have Mallet. Draw one. Oh my gosh. I could go for Mallet on one Exodia piece to try to get a Carter Demise for three. That might be a little bit too greedy. So I think I'm just going to do Carter Demise for two. <laughs> Still Pot of Greed. Okay. This puts the third counter on library, nice. Yeah, this has to be the first Exodia of season five, unless we draw like that, but we're fine. I have not tried the Sound the Retreat deck. It looks very funny though. I don't know if it's actually good, but it looks really funny. I think I do this again. I think Mallet is just so good to save that I'm gonna keep that set one there for a while until I really need it. Because a big mallet, when your hand is really awkward at the very end of the combo, can really be, like, the best thing. Double summon. Ooh, okay. Duality for double summon, maybe? Into the void. Stone. Gold moon coin. Okay, so... We don't have, um, the bamboo swords in rotation, though, so maybe we should just go for Into the Void. Like, stone isn't really that good right here. We're adding back, I don't even know, chicken game, upstart. But we did draw the like, golden bamboo sword, so. That's pretty strong. Where's that double summon? It'll make everything so much faster. Hello, diamond gamers. Yeah, we're diamond gamers here. World's first diamond Exodia player. Like, you could get there, it would just take a really long time. But I don't know if I have the patience for that. This can bounce itself, right? Activate effect. Bounce this. 
Activate effect. <laughs> Get like the world's biggest mallet here if we want to. How have we not drawn the double summon? How many cards are in deck? 15? Maybe we'll complete Exodia before we draw double summon. Ooh, maybe not. Um, yeah, we have to mallet here. I'm going to keep the library because I really think that if we draw into double summon, we can win faster. I think we're running out of spell cards, so getting double spell counters for each of them would be really good. Here we go. Show me that double summon. No way. Wait, these are like the worst cards I could possibly draw. Luckily, we are getting Pot of Greed right here, so we did draw one very good card, but everything else is like really bad. We still have uh, two of these in deck, by the way, which is incredible. Library right here. This is the Exodia head. <laughs> we have to draw like really good cards here. Okay, um, did we discard an Exodia piece earlier? I hope not. Okay, good, because now we can Gold Moon Coin the uh, <laughs> Dark Factory. Otherwise, we would have had to get rid of both libraries. So we'll get rid of those. Draw two. Uh, okay, we can Foolish Braille Goods. Do we have a Cursed in deck? We do. Oh my gosh, saved by that. <laughs> Um, if we did not have Cursed right there, I think we might have lost, but we're good now. Seven cards left in deck, by the way. That double summon is never going to resolve, ever. <laughs> it cannot happen. Kind of incredible. We drew the double summon! We did it! Four cards left in deck, doesn't matter at all. <laughs> but, it's funny. Um, oh. Go Magical Stone. Almost screwed that up, so that might have mattered, actually. No targets for this, I don't think. Oh wait, do I have the target? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the deck is, uh, like, two Exodia pieces and then Golden. That's pretty funny. Draw one. That puts us to two cards in deck, so we will deck ourselves out, but we will not lose because we only are drawing exactly two, not three. So we get Exodia with having no cards in deck. <laughs> First time in Season 5. I love Exodia, this deck's so cool. This animation's fun. Cool stuff. One due to Exodia, the Forbidden One's effect. Nice. Oh, we're going first again. We're broken. I want to go from Exodia win to Exodia win. I have spent five seasons perfecting the Exodia formula, and I believe that this is, in fact, the best Exodia deck list. And I'm about to show you why, because our opponents never draw Ash Blossom. This is gonna be another Exodia. <laughs> we are getting the first and second Exodia of season five. Um, not if we draw like this, but we have two chicken games, we're probably fine. <laughs> um, but still. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy. I think we're gonna have like, <laughs> The craziest magical stone excavation you've ever seen. Yep. Wow. Um, draw one card. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is incredible. So we can magical stone <laughs> discard two copies of cursed bamboo sword to add back upstart goblin. Sure. Doesn't really matter. Just not chicken game. And then we can trigger both of their effects to grab both pieces <laughs> of this combo. That is pretty crazy. I don't know if I've ever done that in this game. Three on this, draw, okay. Not bad. Golden for two, oh my gosh. Maybe that double summon will be higher on the deck this time. <laughs> That'd be nice. We're probably gonna mallet right here. Mallet everything except the library. Go for library. Okay, kind of awkward. Would love to see that double summon right about now. Duality for double summon, possibly. Into the void. Mallet. Goods. Pot of Greed is very good right here. We do already have a mallet. Yeah, let's go for Pot of Greed. I think we have uh, one cursed, one golden left in deck. Might be wrong though. Yeah, we do. This is so crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that this card isn't a hard one's return. It just like, it's so incredible. Like obviously it's not like that good of a card, but you're actually using all these cards in one deck. It does seem pretty powerful. Oh wait, library. Yeah. Nice, into the void. 
I don't even think we're gonna need to uh, mount it here. Let's uh, magical stone excavation. Discard both the Exodia pieces, add back the golden. Now we basically have Exodia right here. We can Dark Factory those back to our hand. I think I just missed a library activation. Don't ask me about it. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> you know, like it really just doesn't matter. We're about to go up to like 13 cards in hand. Um, still haven't drawn the double summon, by the way. Oh wait, oh we're one off, we're one off. Yeah, I guess we mallet. I think I could have gold moon coined actually. Yeah, cause I'm just gonna return this and the terraforming and I guess the gold moon coin. Yeah, I could have gold moon coined those two instead. That would have probably been better because it wouldn't have put them back into the deck, yeah. Oh, let's not miss this one. <laughs> I don't actually want to lose, um, sure. I don't think we can realistically lose at this point, but normal summon the second library, we did it. Activate the pendulum scale. <laughs> um, draw a card. Yep. So one here, one there. Oh, that's Exodia. Nice. The first and second Exodia of season five. <laughs> I don't think I played this deck at all in season four. Like I was just so over Exodia and I didn't even really play it that much in season three, but uh, I thought it'd be funny to play in season five and it is pretty funny. Still a pretty consistent deck when you go first.